Hallelujah. We say praise the Lord again, everybody. Hallelujah. We welcome you to Greater Christ Temple Apostolic Church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all. Bless the Lord. 
you, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy of our praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our Savior. Thank you for being our King. Hallelujah. Thank you for being Lord of our life, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for your Holy Ghost, Jesus. Thank you for your anointing, Jesus. Thank you for your power, God. Thank you for your deliverance, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for healing. Thank you for peace, Jesus. Lord, I bless you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for every provision that you make, God. Thank you for the open doors. Thank you for the closed doors. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know that many are going through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the scripture comes to mind to put on the garment of praise. Hallelujah. For the spirit of heaviness, hallelujah, we got to put it on, brush your way through, brush your way through, brush your way, hallelujah, glory to God, thank you Jesus, put on the garment of praise, for the spirit of heaviness, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, it's much to be heavy about, but we praise God, hallelujah, that we know that we have him to cast our cares on, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. We know that praise is a weapon, hallelujah. It helps to cover our mind, cover our hearts, cover our spirits, hallelujah. Cover our tongue, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. If you open your mouth and open your heart and give God a praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He'll turn some things around for you, hallelujah. We bless you this morning, God. Hallelujah. We promise to praise you, Jesus. Yes, we do, God. We promise to praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When my heart is overwhelmed, Sister Lydia, lead me to the rock. Hallelujah. That is higher than I. Hallelujah. Thank God we have somewhere we can go and hide. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In a safe place. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord this morning, hallelujah, for all those who have chosen to gather with us virtually, hallelujah, to just lift up our Savior's name one more time, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't have to let us live, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so glad to be in the service one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. At this time, our sister Abel Brock will come with our prayer, followed by Elder Brother Javon Hunter with our scripture in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another Sunday you've given us, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your power, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your peace, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence. We feel even now, Lord Jesus. We worship and we praise you, Lord Jesus. We worship your great name, Lord Jesus. We exalt you and lift you up high this morning, Lord God. You're still worthy. You're still God. You're still good. You're still sovereign, Lord Jesus. You're still God, and we worship and praise you this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for keeping us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for protecting us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the many things you've done in our life just this last week, Lord God. We ask that you rule and reign, Lord Jesus, on this day, Lord God. We ask your spirit, Lord Jesus, to rule only, Lord Jesus. We ask that your will be done, Lord Jesus. We bind everything that's not of you, Lord Jesus. As we lift you up, Lord Jesus, and we look to you, Lord Jesus. You're our only help, Lord God, and you're our only hope, Lord Jesus. We hope in you, Lord God, and we trust in you, Lord Jesus. We believe you, Lord God. We know you do all things well, Lord Jesus. We continue to worship you and praise you, Lord Jesus. We continue to exalt your name up high, Lord Jesus. We ask 
you, Lord Jesus, to manifest yourself in this building on today. Touch the hearts and minds of everyone attached to this ministry, Lord God. Those that are even viewing, Lord Jesus, we ask that your will be done today, Lord Jesus. Touch our pastor as he comes forth, Lord Jesus. Use them for your glory, Lord Jesus. Let this day be a victorious day, we pray, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing. Bless you all. Hallelujah. We pray, God, and we thank you for all those who have sown into this ministry. We know that this is fertile ground, and we can see what God is doing. Hallelujah. In this ministry. So we pray, God, for you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to take it up a little bit higher in praise. That's what we're coming to do today. Just praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I don't know what else to do, I know I can praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can't tell me, God won't make a way for me. You can't tell me, God won't see me through. I know he can, I know he will. Oh, yes, I know he will. Oh, you 
Come on, you ought to praise him right where you are. Yeah. Say never, 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 never forget. Say never, I'll never forget you, Lord. Say never. Come on, let the voices be lifted to Jesus. Never, 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 never forget. Say never, hey. Say never, hey. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I can't forget what you've done. I won't forget. I won't forget. Say never. Never. Yes, Lord. Never. Hallelujah. Never. My God, say never, hallelujah, never, yes, Lord, oh, I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, I can't forget you, Lord, I won't forget, you've been so good, you've been so kind, you've been a friend. A friend of mine, you pick me up, turn me all around. You place my feet on a higher ground. You save my soul, you make me whole. You heal my body, I won't forget. 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 Everybody have those hands. You want to start praising him out of the depths of your soul right about now. Yay! Let all the people praise him. Let everything that have breath. Somebody ought to remember, remember, remember. Remember what God's done for you. And go to praise him. And go to give him glory. And go to give him honor. Yeah, yes, Lord. My God, my God, my God. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. That's all right. Hallelujah. I won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget, never shall forget, I won't forget, I made up my mind, I won't forget what God's done, can't forget, I won't forget, won't forget, I won't forget, I won't forget. I don't know where you are, what you're doing right now, or what you've been through. But I know God is a good God. I said God is a good God. Right now, God, I feel the presence of the Lord. I said right now, God is a good God. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. All over me, he's yet alive. He's yet shatanaboshane. He kanabosha. He's yet alive. Oh na 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 na. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. 
I'll never forget what you've done for. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you sent. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget no name. Clap those hands and lift your voice right where you are and give God the praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, we bless you in this place. We honor your presence. We honor your presence. Lord, we honor your presence. Your presence alone will set us free. Your presence alone will get us the victory. Your presence alone will make demons flee. Your presence, we thank you for it right now. Father, move in these moments that we stand before your people. God, order our steps. Speak through us and use us for your glory. Let the power of God be manifest. This word as it goes forth, hallelujah. Let it charge somebody's life. Let it shift somebody's destiny. Oh God, let it remind somebody of your greatness. Oh God, let it empower and strengthen somebody to go a little further. Father, we need your word. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word stands forever. We need your word, God. It is an anchor. It is a place we can run to. Hide us behind your word. Oh God, it is a lamp unto our feet and it is a light unto our pathway. Guide us by your word today. Let your glory be revealed. Send the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Send the fire of the Holy Ghost, God. My God, somebody needs to be transformed. Somebody's mind needs to be reset. Somebody's heart needs to melt under the glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, do it today. Do it today. Do it today, my God. I bless your name. Do it today, even now, God. Extend your glory. Extend your glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And we'll praise you. We'll glorify you. We'll magnify your name forever and ever. And it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. We honor the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Greater Christ Temple, and all of our guests and visitors that have tuned in on this morning. Amen. The Lord is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the saints, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And we honor and bless his name today. We thank God for each and every one of you. We bless and honor the Lord and give God praise for the life and legacy of our pastor, Bishop Dwight David Brock. Hallelujah. And we give God the praise for that that he is doing unto us and for us. Amen. He has called our bishop home, but yet we honor the Lord for the work of God continues. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he needs to repent or turn from what he's, whatever he's spoken. He's more than able to perform it. For the word that goeth forth out of his mouth it will come back it will accomplish it will complete the assignment and so we're standing hallelujah on the word of god that's already been released vision of god it is already given to our founder amen we stand on that word and we continue the work of the lord to our shepherd mother lady donna brock we honor her this morning we give God great praise for her. We're holding her up and covering her and lifting her up. We celebrate our shepherd mother. We celebrate her this morning. Thank God for you. We love you. May the grace of God continue to be upon you. To all of the people of God, our worship leaders, musicians, amen, our audiovisual team that's here helping us, amen, to broadcast and to share the word of the Lord this morning. Last but certainly not least, I give God great praise and honor for a wonderful, wonderful woman of God who he has given unto me and he has allowed me to partner with and to share life with and to experience the glory of God with. And 
And so I thank God for my wonderful wife, Sister Patrice Brock. I give God praise for you. I love you. Thank God for you. The word of the Lord this morning, 2 Corinthians chapter number 3. Second Corinthians chapter number three, verse 18, the word of the Lord reads, but we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. One more time. But we all, somebody say all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. I want to preach to you these two words, another glory, another glory. Will you lift those words with me? Say, another glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give them praise right there. Bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. Uh, it is often hard sometimes to describe spiritual things uh, with our natural words. And uh, today is no different in that the glory of God is something that is hard to adequately describe. It is hard to adequately uh, define with man's words. Uh, despite all of our efforts, amen, we still find it difficult to fully encapsulate what it means to experience the glory uh, quite like love it is something a man that most people have to experience to fully understand uh, glory is is not something uh, that is uh, just a feeling it's not just something that uh, we have as a, a a mere move of God as people come to church and and go to church and they feel uh, a wave uh, of the Spirit of God and they uh, sometimes misrepresented as the glory of God. Uh, the, it's not just a common encounter with God, uh, if that's even ever possible, uh, but it's not just, amen, the ordinary encounter with God, for there are many that encounter Jesus in their presence or in their space, uh, in their environment, but never experience the glory of God. Uh, the glory of God is not something that we uh, see too often, even in our churches, unfortunately. It's not uh, found in uh, our titles or in our regalia. It's not found in our uh, clergy. It's not found all the time in our music or in our instruments. The glory of God is not even always found in the house of God. The truth is uh, that we can seek for it. We can even ask God for it. Uh, we can uh, chase after it, but it is only God who determines who he releases his glory to. Uh, God determines how and the manner in which he wants to reveal himself. Uh, if you will allow me just to try to define it, it, it is the unfiltered, the raw, unfiltered presence of God, hallelujah, that comes with divine purpose. It, it, it is something that is beyond, amen, the ordinary, but God is already beyond the ordinary. And any encounter with him, we often find it to be supernatural. So, amen. Man, let me try again with a yet another definition. It, it, it is uh, the supernatural presence of God, amen, that is unveiled for the people of God. It, it, it is something where God chooses whom he will reveal, hallelujah, his unfiltered self 
for himself to the people that he chooses to reveal to. Uh, it is not something that you can call down from heaven. The glory of God is not something that you can just decide to step into. You have to be called into the glory of God. You cannot decide just one day that I am going to enter in to the glory of God. The Bible, amen, begins to tell us about this man in the Old Testament named Moses. And Moses had many encounters with God. He had many uh, opportunities to experience the presence of God. Moses had the opportunity, amen, when he didn't really even know who God was to experience the presence of God. In fact, Moses was looking after uh, the flock of his father-in-law, and there, amen, what caught his attention was God manifested in a burning bush that was not being consumed by the fire that it was burning with. Uh, and the glory of God was found, although it was revealed through a burning bush, it was not unfolded filtered because it was just the bush that was burning and the voice of the Lord cried out of that bush and called to Moses. Moses comes and has his first major encounter with God. The Bible lets us know that Moses then goes on for the remaining portions of his life and has continual encounters with God. He, amen, hears the voice of God. God will talk to Moses. We see God instructing Moses as he goes back to Egypt and he uses this rod and he uses, hey man, the instructions of God and calls plagues upon the land of Egypt. He speaks on behalf of God to the Pharaoh and instructs him to let the people of God go. He has a connection with God that is unlike anyone else, hallelujah, because he is now being used by God for a specific purpose and for a specific call. Moses, hey amen, has all of these different encounters. We can even look Amen. And the Bible lets us know uh, that he has a face-to-face -face encounter with God at one point. The Bible lets us know that Moses, amen, experiences God passing by uh, and the glory of God was revealed to Moses as the Lord passed by and he moves his hand that was covering Moses' eyes and, amen, the glory shined upon Moses. Hallelujah. And Moses got to see just the back part of the glory of God. And, and, and we understand even more that the Bible says that Moses was called up into Mount Sinai and there in the mountain the Bible says and the glory the spirit of the Lord the Lord came down out of heaven and stood with Moses and began to talk to him I, I'm just trying to let you know that Moses amen was one that got to experience and encounter God on a continual basis but not all encounters with God was the glory of God being revealed to Moses so yes you may come to church and you may get into your prayer closet and you may amen have a good time when you worship the Lord but not every encounter is you encountering the glory of God but Moses one time was called up into the mountain and the Lord began to minister to him and pour into Moses and uh, he had a purpose in this particular encounter with Moses because he was getting ready to give Moses the instructions and the Bible says uh, if you read Exodus, hallelujah, chapter 33 and 34, the Bible says, amen, that Moses was in the mountain for 40 days and for 40 nights, and there in the mountain, hallelujah, he did not eat uh, or drink any water, and the Bible lets us know that while Moses is there, God is having con constant communication with him. I, I wonder how many people of God today uh, stay in constant communication with the Lord. The Bible Bible says that we should pray without ceasing and that in all of our ways we should acknowledge him and that he would direct our path. Uh, the Bible says that we can look to the hills from which cometh our help for our help cometh from the Lord. But how many people of God in this current time uh, are experiencing constant communication with the Lord? Moses was there in the mountain for 40 days and for 40 nights. No bread, no water. And the Bible says uh, that all all of these encounters, amen, led up to this moment where Moses would experience the glory of God in such a way that the Bible says when he comes down out of the mountain, hallelujah, there's the glory cloud shining upon him. 
Bible says here that Moses comes out of the mountain and and when he comes down, the Bible says he wist not, he did not know, he did not even recognize or understand that his skin, hallelujah, shone brightly, hallelujah. He did not understand that about him, hallelujah, shined the reflection of the glory of God that was upon him. He did not understand that all of that time spending in God's presence, hallelujah, would result in him being, hallelujah, no longer Moses, but a reflection of the glory of God. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying there are some of us, hallelujah, who God wants to call into his presence and take off the filters, hallelujah. My young people know what I'm talking about. Your, your Snapchat users and your TikTok users and your Instagram users have your filters and your, amen, sometimes I don't even know if that's the real you or not because your filters have, amen, taken all of your blemishes away, but God wants to get somebody into his presence huh, and take away all of the filters off huh, so you can experience the raw presence of Almighty God. Huh. Somebody give God glory right there. I know, I know it's hard for you to understand how is it that I can experience God but yet not experience the fullness of his glory. Well, let me take you back to the Old Testament once more. Uh, there in the Old Testament, the Bible says huh, on one of the accounts where the Lord spoke to Moses that Moses was in the tabernacle and, and, and there the glory cloud or the pillar of cloud that God had leading the children of Israel came to the door of the tabernacle and everyone came out into the tents uh, of the doorways of their own tents around the tabernacle and they could see the cloud but the voice of the Lord spoke to Moses and it was only Moses that could hear the voice of God. So yes you can be in the presence of God and yet not experience the glory of God but God says this morning I want somebody to experience my glory. What is the glory Elder Brian? The glory is God's intentional hallelujah ha, and designated revealing of himself ha, for the purpose of changing who you are. Uh, and giving you instructions. And so, amen, when we look at God's glory and everyone that entered into the glory, amen, if they stayed there long enough, hear me now, if they stayed there long enough, let me say it again, if they stayed there long enough, ha, they were transformed in the glory. Ha, I remember preaching an old message ha, a few years ago, transformed in the glory. It's the glory of God ha, that changes you and transforms you and shifts your countenance huh, that people will no longer recognize you huh, for what you were or who they used to call you or what your family created you to be but now in the glory of God God shifts you huh, from who you are to who he has called you to be somebody say another glory another glory I was thinking about this, and the Lord began to minister to me, and I, I, I know we might have some guests and some visitors this morning, but if you allow me just to preach uh, to those of you from Greater Christ Temple for a quick moment, I know we've been talking about the glory for a few weeks now, and we've been talking about the glory that God wants to reveal. Our bishop talked about the glory often, and we talked about how the glory of God is not for us, the people, but it's for, hey amen, the glory of God is for God to shine to the the world that God will be, amen, the lifter up, amen, and everyone will be drawn unto him. And I know that we've been talking about it for several weeks. And I don't know how many, hallelujah, of our people, amen, at Greater Christ Temple has taken advantage of the opportunity of God calling us into the glory. If you look at Moses, Moses, hallelujah, was called up into the mountain. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, I hear you, God. God said, amen, Moses was called up away from everything everybody else. He was called up away from Aaron and away hallelujah from his sister Miriam and, and away from the people and so while God may have been giving us the word greater Christ temple ha, about the glory that he is revealing to the people of God ha, it is incumbent upon you as an individual hallelujah ha, to come up into the glory. Help me God ha, it is incumbent upon you individually ha, to answer the call of God. Ha, Moses was called up out of 
<laughs> the midst of the people away from everybody else. <laughs> you're going to have to leave your family and you're going to have to leave your friends. <laughs> you're going to have to leave those you're connected to and those <laughs> that you say you're praying with and those <laughs> that you lean on and those that you, oh my God, I feel Jesus. <laughs> those that you depend upon and God says <laughs> in order to get into the glory, <laughs> you got to leave everybody and everything behind. <laughs> and the glory is not just a horizontal place, but you got to come up a little bit higher. You got to elevate your mind and you got to elevate your thinking and you got to, hallelujah, I feel you, Jesus. You got to elevate, hallelujah, your horizon beyond what you can even see. And even though, hallelujah, it may be a hard climb, I promise if you climb up a little bit higher, you'll experience the glory of God. And so Moses is called, my God, into the glory. And what God wants you to know is that if you make the climb into the mountain, if you make the climb and answer the call, then he's calling you away from the people. He's calling you away from the things. He's calling you away from your desires. He's calling you away from, hallelujah, what you had planned. He's calling you away from your prayer. He's calling you away from your fasting. You don't need any of that. You just need to come up a little higher. I feel you, God. You just need to answer the call. Somebody say another glory, another Oh, God. And so Moses answers the call. He comes up, and the Bible says he spends that time there. And now, hallelujah, we can see, amen, that Moses, uh, this, this one encounter that Moses has uh, is the one that many preachers will preach from, this one encounter that Moses has. Uh, I preached from it several times myself uh, or referenced it. It is the encounter uh, where God calls him uh, into the mountain, but Moses asks for the glory of God. He asks to see him, and the Bible says, uh, that God honors him. Uh, but in that very same verse, amen, in that very same text, uh, the Bible says that God speaks to Moses and says, I'll be gracious to whom I'll be gracious to. Uh -huh, and I'll show mercy to whom I'll show mercy to. Uh, uh, it is letting us know that uh, it wasn't Moses' request that God honored, uh, but it was God himself deciding, uh, I'm going to do this. You cannot ask for the glory of God. Uh, and God, he, oh my God, he's not like, hallelujah, a genie in a bottle. He's not, uh, yeah, he's not like, hallelujah, somebody that owes you anything. I know the Bible lets us know that if we ask, uh, that he will answer. And I, I, I know that the Bible instructs us to pray uh, and to ask believing. And that if we ask in faith, that he will answer. But God doesn't have to reveal the glory uh, to any of us. It's by his own choosing that he chooses to reveal the glory. And even in Moses' sincere desire, hallelujah, he could not understand that what he was asking for, hallelujah, this physical body was not able, hallelujah, to comprehend and experience the unfiltered, supernatural, divine presence of God that God wanted, hallelujah, for him to experience. So God took him into the rock, hallelujah, Stands him on a rock, and the Bible says ha, that they're on the rock in the mountain. Hallelujah. Ha, uh, he's still up a little bit higher in the mountain. He stands on a rock, and the Bible says ha, that God tells him and shifts him uh, and puts him into the cliff uh, of the rock and in the cliff of the mountain. And there, amen, he secures him. Help me, God. Ha, in order for you to experience the glory of God, ha, God has to secure you because ha, uh, you're not able, my God. God, he, ha, you're not able to experience it ha, uh, unless God sets you up ha, to experience it. That's why you just can't walk into the glory. You just ha, uh, you can't just stumble across ha, the glory. You just don't show up ha, and the glory hits you. But God has to set you up, my God, ha, to experience the glory. Ha, somebody say, set me up, God, ha, to experience the glory. Help me, Jesus. Ha, and Moses is there. He's there on the rock in the the mountain, in the cleft of the mountain, and even then, the Bible says that God had, how he puts his hand, uh, how he puts his hand uh, over Moses' eyes. Now, uh, I don't know how many of you are understanding the text thus far. Uh, it's in Exodus chapter 32, 33, 34. Uh, 
<laughs> you can read all of it, hallelujah. <laughs> but in this text, amen, <laughs> we are experiencing <laughs> a man, a human being, hallelujah, <laughs> who is seeing, hallelujah, <laughs> the hand of God, <laughs> who is experiencing the voice of God, <laughs> and God has set him up now, hallelujah, <laughs> to experience the glory. Help me, God. <laughs> uh, in order to experience the glory of God, <laughs> you've got to hear the voice of God. Uh, if your ears are not open to the cry and to the voice of God, how do you expect to experience, hallelujah, the glory of God? I know that, amen, we look for God to speak to us. We look for God, amen, to answer our prayers. But, amen, the voice of God is his word, and his word alone created the universe. And so if you're not open to hearing the word and the voice of God, how can you expect to experience the glory. Help me, God. Some of us would like, hallelujah, to experience the glory, but we have no love for the word of God. Some of us would like to experience the glory and the raw presence of God, but we have yet to follow the instructions that God has spoken into our life. Some of us would like to experience the glory, but we miss the word. We miss what God has been saying to us. And then there's the hand of God. Some of us like amen. And we think that the glory is the jumping and the dancing and the praising. But the hand of God is there to guide and to instruct and to lead us. The hand of God is there to protect us. And sometimes we run away from the protection of God. We run away from the covering. Oh, God, help me. The covering of God. But you can help me, Jesus. You cannot experience the glory of God ha, if you're not under the covering ha, of God. Help me, Lord. Ha, some of us would like to think, hallelujah, ha, that because I have this personal relationship with God, ha, that I don't have to submit to the covering of God. Help me, God. Ha, but the covering of God ha, is there to protect you ha, so that when the glory comes, ha, you're not destroyed in the glory. Oh, God, I need you. And because you run from the covering of God, help me. Uh, yeah, because you run from the covering of God, you can't be in position to experience the glory of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so he says, amen. The hand of God was there, and he covered Moses' eyes. And as he covered Moses, help me, God, he covered Moses' eyes. And the Bible says that he goes past Moses. But watch this. As he passes him, he announces who he was. Now Moses is in the mountain. It's just him and God. Help me, Lord. It's him and God all by themselves. Moses is in the mountain. He has been put into the cleft of the mountain. He's standing on a rock in the mountain. And the hand of God is covering his eyes. Yet God still announces, help me, God, who he is as he moves past. No, Moses, this is not an angel. No, this is not just a spirit. No, no. No, 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 no. Ha. This is not just a praise and a worship and a dance. Ha. No, Moses, this is God Almighty. I'm so glad ha. that God wants you to know. Help me, Jesus. Ha. God wants to identify ha. the move of this time out ha. for us trying to identify. Ha. Didn't we have a move of God? No, you don't have to figure it out. Ha. God identifies himself ha. for himself ha. as he passes by. Ha. He lets you know. Child, that's me, that's me. That's how you know, That's me, God. Yeah, aren't you glad that even ha, in the midst of a world that's crazy and messed up and turned upside down, demons and devils are raging ha, and the spiritual warfare is going on, ha, that God can speak a word and if you obey the word ha, and stay under the covering that through the guidance of his hands, he'll put you in a safe place and just pass you by and say, it's me, child. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's your father. It's it's the glory. It's the glory. And, and, and help me, Jesus. And so, amen, he, he passes by. I'm trying to get past this. He passes by Moses and he removes his hand. Watch this. Uh, he has secured Moses long enough for Moses to be still. Help me, God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was watching some dog videos recently about how to train a dog. And they were teaching all of these dogs by these certain methods. But they said you have to at some point test out 
out if the dog, hallelujah, has really gotten the lesson. And so instead of giving the treat, you just give the command. Help me, God. Some of us are so used to God coming and making us feel good that we don't even understand that sometimes he moves and it's not with a jump or a dance. We only recognize God when the praises are high. But we don't recognize God when he comes in the still small voice. But if you really understand and you've really gotten the lesson, you'll stand still and just wait on God. And as he passed by, he moved his hand. Moses didn't move just because God's hand moved. Help me, God. Hear me. Moses didn't move just because God removed the protection for a moment. Help me. Moses didn't move. Hallelujah. Just because God unveiled his eyes and he saw uh, what was really going on. Sometimes God will give you vision into the supernatural and it'll scare you. But if God has set you in position to see supernaturally, then I promise you he has you in a safe place. Moves his hand, help me. Moves his hand, and after he moves his hand, the Bible says Moses sees his hind part. He sees the glory of God. But then the next chapter uh, reveals to us that Moses is called up. He's, this is where he spends these 40 days and 40 nights. And it is in this encounter with glory, not the one where, hallelujah, he saw the hinder part of the glory. He saw just a part of the glory. But it is in this account, if you read, yeah, that in the 34th chapter, of Exodus, it is in that account where Moses experiences now God standing with him and communing with him for 40 days and for 40 nights. The Bible says he comes out and now his face is shining. I got to move on so I can get ready to close. But God wants somebody to know that it's if he's called you into the glory and he's positioned you safely to experience in him, he wants you to stay there a little don't be in, help me God, don't be in such a hurry to run out of the glory, thinking that you are now, hallelujah, somebody special. Don't be in such a hurry to run out of the glory so that you can show off that you had time with God. Don't be in such a hurry to run out of the glory so that you can run out and now start your own ministry. You can run out, hallelujah, and put your name in lights. You can run out and charge, hallelujah, the highest and biggest honorarium because you can try to declare that you've been in the presence of God. Run out and try to speak to any and everybody as if you're the only oracle of God. But if God calls you into the glory and positions you to experience the unfiltered, unveiled raw a supernatural divine presence of God that stay there a while. Uh, stay there a while, touch yourself uh, and say stay there a while uh, come on Trey, let's go uh, uh, stay there a while uh, stay, my, 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 my. Uh, stay there a while uh, because what God is saying is uh, I've chosen you uh, for this glory uh, it's not the former glory uh, it's another glory uh, you understand that uh, there was a glory uh, associated with the Old Testament uh, there's a glory uh, that was associated with the law. Ha. The glory of God ha, was still revealed ha, in the Old Testament. How do you know? Ha. Look at the account. Ha. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord ha, high and lifted up in his train. Ha. Feel the temple. Ha. And when I felt and experienced the glory, ha, I saw myself as undone and unclean. Ha. He says, I'm a man of unclean lips. Ha. Solomon, hallelujah. Ha. He built the temple of the Most High God. Ha. And when he con finished construction, ha, uh, yeah, they had a service ha, to break the hallelujah, ha, the seal on the doors ha, of the house of God. Ha, and the Bible says ha, that when they came in, ha, that the glory.
glory ha, filled the temple. Ha, it was no longer a temporary ha, place of worship. Ha, they moved from temporary help me God, ha, to a permanent place. Ha, God does worship. Ha, God worship. Ha, God this time. Ha, this time God says I don't want ha, to come and leave. Ha, but if you build me a house, ha, I'll come and stay a while. Ha, and the glory came down. Ha, and the Bible says ha, that the glory cloud was so thick ha, in the house of God ha, that the priest could not stand to minister. Ha, so the glory was revealed ha, in the Old Testament. Ha, but God, ha, sure as he is God, ha, he revealed himself ha, and the glory ha, came in the New Testament. Ha, and I hear the word of the Lord. Ha, Hebrews chapter number three. Ha, yeah, Hebrews chapter number three. Ha, I believe about ha, uh, the uh, somewhere. Ha, it had not Hebrews. Ha, Hebrews one and three. Ha, says who being ha, talking about Jesus. Ha, he is the express image of God. Ha, it says who being the brightness ha, of his glory ha, and the express image ha, of his person. Ha, the upholding ha, of all things. Ha, by the word of his power ha, when he had by himself ha, purged our sins ha, set down ha, on the right hand ha, of the majesty on ha, ha. what is the verse saying on the brock ha, it's saying Jesus ha, who was born of a virgin ha, and lived 33 years ha, went to a cross on Calvary ha, died for you and I ha, Blood came streaming ha, from the crown of thorns on his head. Ha. Blood came streaming ha, from the beating on his back. Ha. Blood came streaming ha, when they pierced him in his side. Ha. He went, hallelujah, ha, to hell ha, and the grave. Ha. Stayed there three days ha, and three nights. Ha. When he didn't stay there, ha, he got up ha, with all power. Ha. Heaven and earth in his hands. Ha. He walked the earth ha, for 40 days. Ha. Showed himself ha, to his disciples. Ha. Oh, doubting Thomas, ha. he wasn't there. Ha. So he showed up again ha, and said, Touch ha, the nail print in my hand. Ha. Touch ha, the nail print ha, in my side. Ha. He said, ha, It's me, ha, the one they crucified. Ha. It's not somebody else. Ha. It's not another God. Ha. It's not a replacement. Ha. It's not a substitute. Ha. It's still me. Ha. The same Jesus. Ha. The Bible says ha. he went on back. Ha. The clouds came down. Ha. He descended ha. on a cloud. Ha. But went back up ha. on a cloud. Ha. And received into glory. Ha. And he who says ha. that he is the brightness ha. of his glory. Ha. I come to let somebody know ha, that it's God ha, wrapped up in Jesus ha, that is the bright light ha, that you're experiencing right now. Ha. For in this world of darkness, ha, we need another glory, ha, something ha, that cannot be contained ha, by our human intellect. Ha. We need another glory, ha, something ha, that's hard ha, for our human mind ha, to comprehend. Ha. Somebody say another glory. Glory, ha. I need ha, another glory. Ha. Yes! Ha. He says, ha. it's another glory. Ha. He says, because the Old Testament ha, had a glory. Ha. But in comparison, ha, this glory ha, is greater. Ha. And in comparison, ha, it's almost if ha, the former glory ha, didn't even ha, exist. Help me, God. Ha. Can you imagine ha, Moses' experience ha, of being in the mountain, ha, on the rock, ha, in the cleft, ha, with God's hand ha, over his eyes? Ha. God moves by, ha, announces himself, ha, and lets Moses see ha, his back. Ha. But that was only ha, one glory. Ha. But there came another glory ha, where God stood ha, in Moses' presence ha, for 40 days. Ha, and 
40 nights. And Moses stayed there as long as God was pleased to stay there with you. When you sing, as long as God wants to reveal his glory in my life, I'll stay there. I'm not going to move. I don't got to be nowhere. I don't have no schedule. I don't have any appointments. There's nothing more important than me staying in this glory. For in this glory, God didn't come with this glory to give you a house. He didn't come to fix your finances. This glory is not for us to jump and to dance with. This glory is not seen in our professional praise breaks. This glory is not seen in the shaking of the mic. This glory, somebody say it's personal. This glory, it's personal. It's just me and God. This glory, I'm going to stay here and let God show me the fullness of his might. Let God show me the fullness of his wisdom. Let God show me who he really is. Show me your glory. I'm desperate to see. I'll stand still until you reveal. Do it in me. Reveal your glory. Another glory. Shout hallelujah. Somebody say another glory. Help me, God. All of the glory that we've experienced, Greater Christ Temple, from the previous weeks that God has been moving. I heard testimony after testimony of the hand of God working in people's lives. And yes, it was the glory because you didn't earn it. You couldn't pay for it. You couldn't even ask for it. How many of y'all remember me saying that? You couldn't even ask for it. But God says, I did it because I wanted to. He said, I did it simply because I wanted to. Help me, God. You ought to rejoice right now that God wanted to show you something that you've never seen before. You ought to thank God that he wanted to open your eyes to the supernatural, unveiled presence of God that you might never have experienced before. But God, since you chose me, I'm going to stay here a while. He says, if you stay here, I know you experienced glory before. You experienced his hand before. But he went and then it moved on past. He didn't stay there. Oh, God, I hear you now. But God says, greater Christ temple. I'm getting ready to stay a little while. You know how you have house guests that come for a visit. And they come and spend a few hours. But then you have out of town guests. Help me, Jesus. They come with bags packed. They come with some of their belongings and they stay a little while. Help me, Jesus. I hear God say, I'm getting ready. He's announcing it. He's calling you up and says, I'm getting ready to make a trip to your house. And I'm planning to stay a while. So he's not coming just for a visitation of one service. But he says, I'm packing up some stuff from home. And I'm going to bring it with me. Help me, Jesus. I'm packing up my anointing. And I'm putting it in a bag. I got to reach in my cabinet. 
and grab my power and put it in a bag. I'm reaching up and grabbing some deliverance. I'm putting it in a bag. I'm reaching up and grabbing the fire from the glorious altar of heaven. I'm putting it in a bag and I got my bag. But then I'm taking my coat because it's hot outside. And I'm taking my coat and robe of flesh off. And I'm hanging it in the closet. And it's just me coming down to stay a while. The raw, unfiltered, unveiled, supernatural, divine presence of Almighty God. And when God shows up, He shows up for a personal encounter with you. I wonder, will anybody open up the door and let him in? Won't you let him in? Won't you let him in? Song says, ice up your window. I don't know what the word really is. It's an old country word. But open up the door and let him come on in. God says, in this glory, I got your clear vision. In this glory, I got your purpose. In this glory, I am going to establish you. God says, this glory is not like the former glory. It's not like anything you've experienced before. This glory is for you to be changed. This glory is for your countenance to be different. This glory, when I go back and leave you just for a little while, you'll never be the same. It's going to overtake you. The Bible says that Moses came out of the mountain and he didn't even know that his skin, I know we like to preach it, that it was his face, because that's where they put the veil. But the Bible says it was Moses' skin that shone brightly. Yeah. So Jesus, who is the brightness of his glory, if you let him in, he'll shine all over you. Shine all over my life. Shine all over my heart. Shine all over my mind. Shine on my spirit. Shine on my soul. Shine in my worship. Shine in my praise. Shine in my walk. Shine in my talk. Shine. 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 Let the glory shine. Let the glory shine. Let the glory shine. He says, this glory, it's going to change. And in this glory, God says, it's going to take over all of you. God doesn't want not one part of you to escape the glory. I said, God doesn't want not one part. Oh, I feel Jesus. Not one part. Not one area. Not one facet. Not one stitch of your existence. Does God want to escape the glory? So God told me about three in the morning. He said, Sean, if my glory is the unfiltered, unveiled, supernatural, divine expression of who I am. He says, in order for them to be changed, they've got to allow me and my unfiltered self to touch them and their unfiltered self. What are you saying, Elder Brown? You gotta take off the mask. Get it behind the hurting places. Let them get behind the messed up places. Let them get behind those places you don't talk about. Let them get to you. 
something you uh, that you don't even know about. Uh, but you want to open up uh, yourself completely. Uh, yeah, it's springtime. Uh, and God comes uh, with another glory uh, to change your life. Uh, so like spring cleaning. Uh, I don't know how many really do it. Uh, the way we grew up. Uh, my daddy used to get us together. Uh, and say we got to clean the whole house. Uh, and the weather would break. Uh, and he'd go through the house. Uh, he'd turn on his good music. Uh, sometimes it was quartet. Uh, sometimes it was choir. Uh, but we had some music. Uh, to work by help me God. Uh, I feel music in the air. Uh, we had Koshatamasa. Uh, we had some music to work behind and he would open up all of the windows if there was a door with a screen door we didn't have the screen doors with the glass pane these screen doors they had the little latch that you could pull it open and lock it in place uh, or they had a screen on it, ha, and he'd open up the doors. Ha. Why? Because ha, the help me God, I hear you. Ha, the house had been closed up ha, for all winter long, ha, and it needed to air out ha, and get everything ha, that was contaminated ha, and held up inside. Ha. It needed to get blown out. Ha. Somebody say a fresh wind ha, by a by a fresh wind. Ha. And the glory of God ha, is coming this morning ha, as a fresh wind. Ha, that if you open up ha, your entire being, ha, the unfiltered, ha, unveiled, ha, supernatural, ha, divine expression ha, of who God really is ha, will sweep through your life. Ha, and you'll never, ha, I said never, ha, I said never. Ha, be the same ha. tomorrow ha. you won't look in the mirror ha. and see the same old you ha. tomorrow ha. you'll come up ha. from a night of sleep ha. and you'll wake up ha. and instead of seeing your reflection ha. you'll see the glory ha. And instead of seeing your problems ha. you'll see the glory ha. instead of seeing your sickness ha. you'll see the glory ha. Instead of seeing your incomplete uh, self, uh, you'll see the glory. Uh, for the glory, uh, when you stay there a while, uh, it'll jump on you. Uh, all of you, uh, all of you, uh, all of you, uh, change all of me. Uh, no more, uh, uh, but the Christ uh, live in me. Uh, I need uh, another glory. Another glory, another glory, another glory. You won't look the same. You won't look like even the best version of yourself. I said you won't even look like the best version of yourself. Because what the children of Israel saw when Moses came out of the mountain was not Moses at all. The part, help me God, the part that caused them to respond was not Moses at all. It was the reflection of the glory of God. We've seen movies and theatrical presentations trying to depict this account where Moses comes down and the glory is shining and I, I, I wasn't there but I can only imagine that the glory was so bright it made it hard for them to hear Moses not because their ears weren't working but because their eyes were so blinded by the glory. Help me, God. Their eyes were so full of the illumination of God coming off of Moses. 
If you haven't spent enough time for somebody to see God illuminated on your life, you need to sit in the glory a little bit longer. And when Moses came to minister to the people, the Bible says that they put a veil on his face. Just so, watch this, they could hear, hallelujah, oh God, just so that they could hear what Moses was saying. Moses had instructions from God. It was important that they hear what Moses was saying. But, oh God, hear me. Hear me, people of God. Even when God's glory shows up, nothing can take your attention other than the glory. Shame on the preachers who try to preach over top of God's glory. Shame on the worship leaders who try to control and manipulate the glory of God and try to sing over the glory of God. Sometimes you just need to let God's glory be God's glory because in his glory, he does the work. The Bible says they put a veil upon his face, but watch this. For every child of God that is interested in in, in showing the glory of God in your life and having the glory of God shine out of your life. Listen to this. The Bible says that Moses, he veiled his face when he was in front of the people to minister to them. But then he would go back into the presence of God. And there in the presence of God, they said, the Bible says that he took the veil down. If you are so blessed that God would choose you to call you into his raw, unfiltered presence, gotta take off the mask and yes you've experienced the glory already but every time you get into that place make sure the veil is taken away bible says that the old testament types and shadows for our learning and it's for our understanding and, and what happened with moses uh, the bible says that even now still there are the, those of the Hebrew and Jewish nation that still have this veil that they're not able to see Jesus who is the brightness of his glory as Hebrews tells us but, but he has unveiled the Bible says when he died on the cross he ripped the veil right down the middle in the temple hallelujah help me Jesus and he gave access Help me, God, to whosoever will. God says this glory, it's another glory. But he says, today I make an open call. Whosoever will, come on up into the glory. I told you, 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 can't, you can't pray your way into the glory. You can't, oh, help me, Jesus. You can't just invite yourself into the glory. You can't worship yourself into the glory, but you have to be invited by God. But today, God says, whosoever will, come on in, into this glory. The, oh, my, 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 my. I know you've been hearing the preacher talk about glory. He's been talking about it on Wednesday nights, and he's been preaching about it, and, and you've been experiencing it, some of you. But God says, this is another glory, and this time I'm making a personal invitation. Come into my glory. Woo! Shot. Come into my glory. Come into my presence. Help me, God. God says, come into my presence. For it's in the presence of the Lord. There is the fullness of joy. His spirit maketh alive. And when you come into the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the raw unfiltered, unveiled, supernatural, divine expression of God. When you enter in and stay there a while, Hebrew says, we see this image, we see the glory. Some of you have been experiencing it from afar. You've been seeing the clear glass that looks very clear. You see God but you've yet to enter in. But he says, today I call you into the glory. Woo! Today I invite you into the glory. And he says, not only would you see it, but I want you to step into it. 
And when you step in, he says, what you see, help me, God, you'll now become. Hallelujah. Woo! God, help me, Jesus. What you see, you'll now become. He says, because in the glory, I'm going to change you from who you are to who I see you as. Oh, God, I hear you. Somebody, God says, I'm making you an anointed vessel. You, you have yet to walk in that, but when you come into my glory, I'm changing you from who you are to what I, God, sees you as. And he says, when I change you, now you're going to look like me. Oh, God. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> now, now you're going to, anybody ever seen pets that resemble their owner? I, I don't really know how that happens. Maybe it's, watch this, maybe it's the familiarity of seeing them together all the time. If you can see God and his glory and step in and stay there a while, when people see you, they'll see God. Because this glory state that you stay in is a familiar place for you. It, it, you start to look like the God that you're experiencing. You start to look like, watch this, his glory. Today, somebody needs to step into the glory. Somebody needs to step into the presence of God. Hear me now. You can't do it just because you feel like it's something good to do. It's a very serious thing because you, you listen, you can step in, and if you don't step in and let God put you in a safe place, the glory will consume you. It will consume you. But I'm so glad that God in his magnanimous, magnificent self knows how to be all God. And yet somehow he can put the fullness of his essence inside of this human frailty. <laughs> oh God, how is it that God, you, you, you can be so large that you can be in every place and in every space all at the same time that you exist in eternity and, and heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool, yet you can put your glory inside of a frail human vessel. God says, it's not for you to figure out how I do this, but step in and release yourself into my hands. Moses, all he did was follow the instructions of God. God said, come on up. Moses came up. He stood on the rock, and in the cleft of the mountain, God placed his hands upon him and secured him God says, today I want to secure somebody in my glory. Mm -hmm. God says, I want to secure somebody in my glory. I want to position you to be able to experience my glory. Watch this. For an extended time. You've been seeing glory from afar. You've been watching it through the glass. You've been on the other side seeing God move in somebody else's life. But God says, even you, you can come into the glory. This is not the glory that is something you have to access through the keeping of the law, through the ordinances and through huh, the dictates of all of these laws and rules and regulations. It's simply by your obedience. For the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. There's another glory God wants you to enter into. Even you that have been in the glory of God before, he says there's another glory. I let you have a taste, but now I want you to have an experience. You've had an experience, but I want you to have it for a lifetime. I want you to stay there. I hear you, God. 
I want you to stay there. Some of us are so excited about experiencing the glory of God. Just like a child. They, 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 they get all of this good stuff and they don't know what to do and they sometimes they run away out of excitement and just exuberance and they don't know what to do. But God said, let me position you because it's going to overwhelm you. Your eyes haven't seen. I hear you, God. Neither has ears heard what God has in store. You got to let God position. You can't just go and take a seat. You can't just go and, and fall down. You got to let God position you even in the glory because he knows how to secure you. So that, oh God, he says, I want you to take all of it. I want to, oh, I want to release the fullness. Oh, help me, Jesus. And you got to stay there a while. The after effect is sometimes what people run for. But you can't get to the after effect until you go through staying in the glory for a little while. Even if you have to forsake some things, Moses didn't eat or drink in that 40 days and 40 nights. Even if you have to stop doing some things, stop, stop talking to some people, stop, turn off some things and eliminate some things out of your life. If that's what it requires for me to experience the glory, I want that glory. That, that's the glory of God. This glory is what I desire. And since you've given me an invitation, you've chosen me. God says, I've chosen you today to come on in. Giving you an open invitation. Oh, I hear you. An open invitation. But God says it's time sensitive. Move today and enter into the glory. For the glory, for the glory, the glory that comes, it will produce God's desired results. It will produce God's desired results. Let's pray today. God, we thank you. We give you glory today. We honor you, Lord Jesus. Your word we have spoken to your people. We have done what you have instructed us to do. Now, God, let your glory fill every space. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Let your, oh, Masha, let your glory touch every heart, God. Go into the secret place and, God, reveal yourself to those souls that have taken this invitation to enter in. God, reveal yourself who you are in your fullness the unfiltered unveiled supernatural divine expression God that you show for yourself it's, it's not what man shows it's not what man hallelujah portrays it's not the God that we speak about but it's the God that you are hallelujah yes Lord it's not the God that we sing about because our words are inadequate to fully describe you, but you know how to show yourself for yourself in the fullness of who you are. Do it now for that soul, for that life. God, they may be sitting next to somebody who's reluctant to come into the glory, but God, even if their brother or their sister won't go, God, give them the boldness to step into the glory. Give them the courage to step into God, you're inviting them, and they can feel your presence pulling and tugging on them. And God, when they enter in, position them to stay a while. Position them, God, that the glory won't consume them. Position them and hide them safely in your arm. In the name of Jesus, pour out of your spirit. Pour out of your love. Pour out of your heart. Pour out of your essence, oh God, the fullness of who you are. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you, God. I want to see you in your fullness. I want to experience your glory. God, and whatever it is in me, whatever it is in my heart, whatever it is in my life, God, that I got to lay aside, that I got to get rid of. I got to walk away from. God, help me now to come up higher. Come on. Come on. Somebody needs to go to praying for yourself. God, help me to come up a little bit higher. 
Yes, God, we need you now. Give us the strength to climb up a little bit higher. Elevate our mind. Elevate our focus. Elevate our attention. Elevate our heart. Elevate our spirits, God. Let us come up a little bit higher. Let us leave the low things of this world at the base of the mountain. Let us leave the cares of this life at the base of the mountain. Let us leave the heartache and the stress and the strain. God, it's been difficult. We've lost some loved ones. We, we've gone through trials and tribulations. But God, let us leave it all at the base of the mountain. Let us leave it all at the foot of the mountain because we're coming up higher. Oh, we're coming up higher. We're coming. We're coming to meet you, Jesus. God, we're coming to see you. We're coming into your presence. We're entering in. We're entering in. We're entering. Come on. You got to press in. Come on. We're entering in. Not the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on, somebody. Come on, press in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Come on. Come on. Reach out wherever you are. Reach out. That's God you're feeling. Hallelujah. He's coming by with his comforting hand right now to let you know he's getting ready to move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Press into his prayer. We're moving in, God. I hear God say, take off your shoes. I need to get to your skin. I need to get to you. Take, take off your shoes. Take off those coverings. Take off those masks. Hallelujah. Take off those veils. Take off that outer garment. you you're on holy ground. 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 You're on my, 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 my. Yeah, come on. Somebody just made it in. Somebody just entered in. Somebody here, God. So kind of a mosha, hit a lavashi a colomosha, a tire of a Somebody just entered in. I feel you, God. Somebody just entered in. God, we're here now. We're here now. We're here now. We're here. We're here now, God. So here we surrender. Hayalomosha. Here we say yes, God. Here, here's all of me. Here's my heart. Here's my mind, my soul, my will, my thoughts, my desires, my motives. We're here now, God. We say yes. Woo! We're here now. Reveal yourself. Reveal your glory. Reveal your glory. Reveal your glory. Reveal who you are. Show us what you want to show us. Show us who you are. Show us the you that we haven't seen before. Show us the glory we haven't experienced before. Show us the fullness we have yet to experience. We're here now. We're here now. We're here now. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're in your presence. We're in your presence. We're here. We're in your presence. We're my mama. She Come on. You're there. You're there. You're there. Come on. Just stretch out a little while. Don't be in such a hurry to move on. Don't be in such a hurry to escape. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Come on. Stay a while. Stay on my mama. She Your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory, glory. Hallelujah. Woo, yes, Lord, we bless your name. 
We're here now, God. Change us. Change us. Change us. Hey, 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 hey. Shata. Here no more. She and me. Hata yo no more. Shata. Change us. Haya. No more. Ah. No more. Ah. Come on. You got to stay there. You got to stay there. You got to stay there. Change us now. Change our mind. Change our heart. Change our disposition. Change our ways. Change our thinking. Change me, oh God. Change. Change. Woo! Shataya la mama mashi. Come on, stay there just a little while longer. God's doing a work in somebody. He's doing a work in somebody. I feel the presence of the Lord. He's stretching out. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He's stretching out now. He's unpacking. Oh, yes, he's unpacking his bag. Come on, he's taking it out now. Oh, he's getting ready to do some changing. He's getting ready to make himself comfortable. Come on, let him do it. Let him do it. Here we are, Jesus. Here we are, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way. Hey! Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Another glory, another glory, another glory. Another glory, another glory, another glory. Another glory. Hey, the most ye la massa. It had a look. Come on, let him touch you again. Let him touch you again. Let him touch. Come on, let him feel you again. Yes, God. I got a most shot. Let him feel you. Oh, that mama she. Let him feel you again. Let him feel you again. You child, you backslider. Let him feel you again. Let him restore. Let him renew. Let him refresh in the glory. In the glory. In the glory. In the glory. Come on, let him do it. Let him do it. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Jesus. And the glory came down. And it filled the house. It filled the house. Feel every part of me, Jesus. Feel every part of me, Jesus. Feel every part of me, Jesus. Let me never be the same. Let me never be the same. Let me never be the same. I want to be the reflection of your glory. I want to be the reflection of your power. I want to be made in the image and in the likeness of you. God, we thank you now. Your word is already settled in heaven. And even now it's accomplishing that that you sent it. We release your people into your hand, God. And we know your glory shall be revealed. We praise you now. We glorify you now. God, there's our new worship is springing out of us. There's a new will that just sprung up in somebody, Lord. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. Come on, we're getting ready to move on, but just take a few more moments and bask in the glory. Let it get all over you. Let it get all over you. Let it get all over you. Let it get all saturate us in this glory, God. Saturate us in this glory. Yes. Another glory. God bless you today.
if you have not experienced the baptism of the Holy Ghost, if you've not been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of your sins, you need to be born again. Born of the water, born of the Spirit. For except the man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. But being born again is only the start. It's only the beginning. There's greater glory. God wants to take you from glory to glory. From glory to glory. There's more of God he wants to open up to you. More of God he wants to reveal to you. But it starts with being born again. If you're not saved, Pray and ask God to forgive you of every one of your sins. For God, he saw his work of repentance not to have to be repented of anymore. I don't want to do this ever again. I want to be different. I want to be made over. I don't want to be a sinner. Some people call, used to call themselves saved or saints or Christian. I just want your spirit inside of me because it's with your spirit that I now have the power to resist the devil. It's with your spirit I now have the power to resist temptation. You can repent and be forgiven, but if you don't have the power of God, the Holy Ghost on the inside, you don't have the power to not sin anymore. So you must be born of the water and the spirit. If you want more information, if you need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, comment below. Reach out to us on our Facebook page, inboxes, or you can contact us, info at gctaministries.org. I'm sorry. Info at gctaministries.com. Dot com. Send us your information. We want to contact you and connect with you. We want the Lord to do his work in your life. Let's give God the glory today. We give him glory. We give you praise, oh God. Thank you for this visitation. We didn't earn it or deserve it, but you gave it to us. And we thank you for it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. God bless you today. This message and this service and this move of God has been a blessing to you. We want to continue to experience the ministry of Greater Christ Temple and what God is doing. We invite you to sow into this ministry, however you choose to do it, whatever gift the Lord lays upon your heart. If it's not a monetary gift, if the Lord just leads you to intercede and pray. But if you desire to give a monetary gift, you can do so electronically via our Cash App, dollar sign GCTA, through our PayPal. Information is on the screen. You can share and give your gifts. We thank God for you. Pray the blessings of the Lord be upon you. Another glory. Stay in the glory. Stay in the glory. I hear you, God. God needs somebody to stay in the glory. We're, we're getting ready to go off the air, but somebody, God says, even when the live stream has stopped, you need to stay in that place. Stay in that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Lord. God says, stay in that place. It's in that place I'm going to reveal to you your next step. It's in that place I'm going to reveal to you what your life is all about. It's in that place I'm going to reveal to you my purpose and your destiny. God says, you got to stay there, though. Stay there. The instructions from glory come from God in the glory. Stay there. You might be in this posture the rest of the day. That's all right. 
you might linger here for the rest of the week. That's all right. But as long as God is willing to come and stand in your presence, stay there. As long as God is having an open door policy and inviting you in to experience the unfiltered, the unveiled, supernatural, divine expression of himself, stay there. Stay there as long as God will allow. Don't get tired of being in the glory. I hear you, God. I'm trying to let you go. We're, we're, we're far into the afternoon now. But God, my God says, don't get tired in the glory. And when people don't understand why it is that you look different and you, you talk different and you act different, even you that have been saved for a long time, even now he shifted you to another dimension, another level from glory to glory. He says even those that will not understand this next level that you're walking in, he says it's okay. Put the veil on so that, and, and just forget about it, but get back to the glory. Come back to the glory. You may have to walk around amongst people who don't understand this type of experience. And yeah, they saved just like you are, but they don't understand. The whole body of children of Israel were at the base of the mountain. They were all the people of God. They were all the called of God. But not all of them could stand even the reflection of the glory. Don't worry about who doesn't understand. Don't worry about who doesn't agree. If they don't like it, just put up the veil. The veil doesn't take the glory away. Listen to me. God is speaking right now. God says the veil doesn't take the glory away. It just keeps them from experiencing it. So for those that will reject the glory in your life, God says, just put up a veil. You don't have to contend with people. You don't have to fight people. You don't have to defend yourself. You just put up a veil, but stay in the glory. And when they have missed out, that's between them and God. Whatever they did not get to experience, that's between them and God. But you stay in the glory. Stay there. Stay there. I'm done. I, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that it's the presence of the Lord. Somebody help me sing, Sister Hunt. There are sweet expressions on each face. Right here. Right here with us. Feeling us. Feeling this is how we're going home today. And for these moments, for these we lift our hearts. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, sweet heavenly dove. stay right here, Jesus. Stay right here with us. Reveal more of your glory to us. Lift your hand. 
change your heart. Lift your voice to the Lord. Without a doubt. Undoubtedly, God, we've been visited by you. God, we thank you for your day, day of your glory. The presence of the Lord that is visiting us even now. God, we're going to stay here. God, Facebook may shut us down. We may get off live stream, but God, we're going to stay here. We're going to stay here in your presence. Fill us till we want no more. Bless our week, God. Bless the remaining of our day. Let your glory encompass us everywhere we are, every home and every family, every spirit, every soul, every life. Let no one escape this glory. This glory, hallelujah, has purpose. This glory has destiny. This glory has instructions. We stay in your glory. God, we love you today. We bless you and we praise your name. May the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us since now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. May the blessings of the Lord be with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus.